so it's finally time to get all this out of my truck. Now, these are the last fence boards I salvaged from that little, that little fence project I did for a friend of mine in Truckee. And um, it's been in here about four weeks now. But in my defense, we were on a three week road trip. So it, it got on here a couple days before we left. And it's just been a few days since we've been back. I wanna get all this out. I wanna get my toolboxes out because once again, we have that beautiful end of October weather and we're going boating. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take, these are still on the panels. They're not loose like I had these. I'm just gonna take those panels, put them on the same pile here. This is not this permanent location. I just don't have time to get it where it belongs. But for now, we're going boating with friends on Monday. It's Saturday morning. I gotta get the boat ready. I gotta get my truck cleaned out. So I'll prioritize on that. Because as you can see, it has slowly become a bigger and bigger mess outside the shop here. And I promised myself I wasn't gonna let that happen. <laughs> here it is. But I want to get that cleaned up. A couple pieces of firewood, really, that are left over from when I did the tree trimming. Now, these are some that still have nails sticking out of them, so I'm going to lean these here. Deal with that later. for the fence stuff. Well, this looked like a bigger and bigger job to get it moved out of here, but it won't take that long. It's not that bad. Um, now I just want to get all the, I guess that pile of two by fours, and get all the tools out of my truck because I'm not going to be needing those for at least a while. So I might as well empty it and then hook up the boat. I'll bring it around here and it just needs a couple little things done to it. This one was the heaviest one. Got all my power tools in it. to do really just takes a few minutes it always seems like such a big job now i'll go ahead and uh drive around hook up to the boat back it in here and uh clean it up get it all ready for monday about an inch. All right, that wasn't too bad. Just took a few tries. It usually goes pretty well. Um, I'm not going to worry about safety chains or the um, or plugging in the electrical because I'm just going to swing it around there. Probably going to take my truck off of it at that point because the truck needs cleaning too. a few extra tries. I'm usually a little better than that. I'm never perfect. But uh, time to get to it. So the first thing I need to do is get the cover off it. What needs to be done is the bimini here, that's the, the little awning that goes over the boats. Some of the, um, the threads have gotten loose on a seam. I need to sew that up. Now, I don't know anything about sewing, but I'm willing to give it a shot. this is kind of, go 
show that. It's kind of my own creation here as a good support to um, hold up my uh, my boat cover here. So I finally figured out the perfect way to do it. I got a video on that. I'll link it in the description below. That was easy enough. Now I will get up there. I want probably need to put the bimini up, I think, to reach it. It worked out a little bit before and it's just real awkward. I think the way I want to do this is just kind of open up the bimini a little bit because the uh, terrace on the bottom edge there and I think I can sit on the back of the boat there and sew it from that. Anyway, I'll try that first, see how it goes. I'm still here. It looks like it's working. But right here is where that seam is coming loose. It's a lot to sew here. I'm just going to start on this end and see how far I get. I'm going to have to do it from out here because you have to push the needle in from the inside and then back through from the outside again. I needed to get a smaller hat on. The brim on that other one was too wide because I'm going to have to just keep kind of going in and out like that. So the only way I could do this is just bob from one side to the next, but I got a long ways to go. And so I'll just keep bobbing. All right, well, this is starting to go pretty well. I think I'm getting kind of a rhythm going here. Um, not as bad as I thought it would be. I think I'm about halfway there and um, maybe an hour in at the most. I'm figuring at least a couple hours to do it, maybe more. So <laughs> I, I'm pretty happy with the progress I'm making here. And fortunately, I think this is the only part that needs to be sewn. <laughs> at least for now. Well, this has gone way better than I thought it would. I'm almost done here. Probably going to have two hours in total, and I was sure I was going to at least get to three hours into it. <laughs> Those are acorns falling on the shop roof. Let's keep it. It's a little easier right here at the end. I don't have to keep bobbing underneath the bimini there. <laughs> Poke myself again. <laughs> that was a number five or six poke there. <laughs> I'm going to use my pliers to get it through. It's really a tough spot. There we go. Take, push it through that side from the pliers and then pull it through this side. Now don't take this as any kind of instructional video because I'm not the expert. There's got to be somewhere out there, someone out there who knows a lot more about this than I do. I'm always willing to go out there and try. You know, as long as I'm not going to do any damage, and um, I'm not going to injure myself beyond a few pokes from a needle. I figure it's worth giving it a shot. Hopefully I can inspire you guys to do the same. You know, just give it a try. Get out there and do something. If there's no harm to be done, just go for it. You can't believe how much fun it is. I think that's it. I think what I need to do is, is find some way to tie a few knots here. to get my scissors I left them in the shop that's it with that cut I think I'm done I'm definitely not going to be a seamstress I'm not going to be a surgeon looks like I got it take a look here it's definitely that's mine is that black thread there is the one I put in lots of it goes all the way to there you can see that's where the white starts only but I'm happy with how it came out <laughs> with a little luck it'll hold up really well too Cash, come here, buddy. Let me put you right over here, okay? All right, we're ready. And now we see that it starts. There we go. There we go. <laughs> now we just gotta go up and get cash. I am coming. Don't you worry. 
He goes, you're never going to wait for me. He's just going to go straight on and jump. There you go. <laughs> Good boy. It was a beautiful day on the lake here. Might be one of the last days of the season. It's 80 degrees, couldn't have asked for a better day. Had a beautiful beach, barbecue burgers. Now we're heading in with not quite the last bit of light, but we stayed out as long as we dared.